but if you do vape, you know, that's, that's up to you. And if it, um, you should be allowed to do that. I think you should, it should be allowed to use whatever you want. I see no reason to limit that. In 2022, California voters went to the polls to vote on, amongst other things, Proposition 31, which would ban the sale of flavored tobacco products in the state. Voters overwhelmingly passed the Proposition 63 to 36. The underlying law associated with the proposition went into effect January 1st, 2024. In Alameda County, which includes the entirety of Berkeley, the proposition garnered the support of 75% of the voters. The ban and others like it target underage vaping, trying to stop kids and teenagers from picking up the habit. I have no grievances against flavored uh, tobacco products or nicotine products. The thing was, I'm always with my family a lot and I'm always with like my little cousins. And I realized as I grew older, they actually like copy the shit I do. They like look up to me. So when they saw me like vaping and smoking, they started vaping and smoking too. And these kids are like not even in high school yet. So, however, it is still possible to attain these products. They just came back. I don't know how they came back. They're all back. I think they're better than ever now. I go someplace and they got crazy flavors. I don't really think smoke shops are going to stop selling the flavored vapes. Have you gone to a smoke shop um, after the new year? And have you still seen them sell two flavored vapes? Yes, I have. I've been to multiple. They like bring out, yeah, they're awesome. But yeah, I buy it online. Like it's not that like big of a deal, I guess, to buy it online, but it still kind of sucks that I can't go in person to literally get. Like what happened if I like, I don't know, because like shipping and stuff takes a while. Noting that some brick and mortar stores and online retailers still sell these flavored tobacco products, we ask both smokers and non-smokers what they think of the proposition in terms of its ethicality and morality. The banning of the sale in California, especially since California is such a large state, I mean, I don't think it's realistic. I think it's going to make it harder for people to acquire it. It's a good thing health-wise, but I just think a full-blown ban isn't going to benefit. So I think there's two sides of it because, like, me personally, like, when vapes first came out, they were targeted towards like our kind of age group, like especially the fruity flavors and the colors and stuff. So I think that's really bad for younger kids because they're very susceptible to that. That being said, I had older coworkers who used to smoke cigarettes a lot. And the only reason they don't now is because of those disposable vapes. So it's actually better for them, but worse for us. So I guess I'm kind of torn. I think it should be a little more highly regulated so kids can't get their hands on them, but they're important for people trying to quit cigarettes. It's so easy for uh, artificial flavors to get people hooked on vape products. And uh, it's one of the reasons why I got hooked. But I don't think someone would go all the way to Nevada, especially because of the fact that a lot of these smoke shops aren't following that proposition. And in general, a lot of smoke shops are selling under the table. It's like they don't want to get taxed, so they, uh, they charge with cash. So. It's, it's not like, I don't think you, it's going to be a situation where you would have to go to Nevada because you're most likely going to be able to find one here. I hope Proposition 31 is a, a good step towards the future. I mean, we should have been the generation that got rid of smoking cigarettes, but here we are. At this point in my life, my vape is very important to me. That's like, that's like, sep no, don't do, like, don't do it. Fuck Prop 31. It's kind of fucked up. You're making people sad. Doesn't the world need some joy? A little happiness. And you know what does it for me? A little tiny plastic box that lets me breathe yummy air. We spoke to multiple shops within the state, all of whom declined to comment. With Cal TV News, I'm Krishna. And I'm Alexis. And we'll catch you all next time.